I got what I thought was a ingrown hair on the side of my hand. No big deal. Looks like a pimple. The hair gets turned around and it grows back into your skin. It hurts. You have to wait for it to grow out. Fine. Well, a day later, I got another one on the other hand on the edge of my outside of my pinky finger, the small finger. Two days later, I got one on my neck. I thought it was from shaving. <clears throat> later that night, my skin started to itch on the wrist of my left hand. And this is how they all worked out. Started with an itch. An hour later, a tiny little bump, like a very small mosquito bite. And then that itch would turn into pain if you touched it. Later that night, it would welt up a little bit. And then it would go away within four days. But in the meantime, I was getting them pop up. I thought, is do I have like a spider in the bed biting me? I did a bunch of research and I ruled out rashes right away because rashes are red and they are like rug burns, like a large patch of red skin. This was just one bump on, on each hand and the wrist and they were too far apart. So I went to the doctor and I'm very upset with them because although I've seen him before, he didn't do much of anything. He just asked me, of course, you know, did you eat anything different? Did you change detergents? I said, no, nothing has changed whatsoever. Not to mention, um, I'm not a doctor, but if I changed detergents or it was some form of a rash, again, don't you think it would be a patch of skin that was red or pink or something of that nature? He said, well, not all the time. Okay, fine. So I leave there. Nothing got resolved. I had a bad feeling about it, and I did more research. I kept seeing results for like folliculitis, which is an infection due to bacterial in hair follicles, but I knew that there had to be something more than that. Anyway, last night I went to urgent care. She said, yeah, I'm a little concerned about this. This one I'm especially concerned about, and that's why I went. On the back of my hand, there was one that was about the size of a golf ball. Not tall, but circumference. And it was about five millimeters tall. And because it was so raised, it was pressing down on my muscle tissue on the back of my hand and the nerves. I couldn't move my fingers much and I certainly couldn't even make a fist. It hurt so bad and the pain was traveling up my arm. What it turned out to be was a bacterial staph infection, which is common. And all of us have bacteria inside our bodies and outside our bodies. And our immune system every day, every second, is constantly fighting bacteria that attempts to enter your body. Um, if you get cuts or scrapes, your immune system is especially active because that bacteria from the outside world, from everything you touch, is entering your body. Well, if your immune system is compromised or you're getting over a cold or you're catching a cold, it's going to affect your immune system. But yet, because our bodies are a perfect machine or close to it, it still fights it off. Well, I've had my hands in the salt water tank, and as you guys may or may not know, I removed my sand bed. Our salt water tanks have tons of bacteria, millions, in the water column. And especially when you stir up the sand bed a little bit, or a lot sometimes, because you're removing a sand bed, or you're working a lot, and you're stirring that nasty stuff up, there's a lot of fish waste, and mud water, and just uneaten food, and things that are rotting and breaking down in that sand bed. So, Yes, I'd received about a dozen easily minor tiny little cuts on my hands, but that's all it takes. So that bacteria was entering my body. Is this the cause? I can't tell you 100%, but I know that I had cuts. My hand was in filthy bacterial-ridden water with fish waste. I'm pretty sure it's not a good combination. Now, I've done this before. I've put my hand in my tank to work on stuff with a minor cut here and there. No problem ever. But probably not a good idea to do that anyway. So, now, I'm in pain. It is highly contagious. If the cyst, or little pimples, if you will, break, and what little liquid comes out touches somebody, they're going to get it. No problem. I'm in antibiotics. 
So I'll be complaining to this other doctor who didn't do anything for it. It was an obvious case. And there's my tip to you. If you have to put your hands in your tank, I would recommend using gloves, maybe rubber gloves if you're not allergic to latex. But Live Rock will shred rubber gloves in a second, no problem. So I recommend thicker gloves like dishwashing gloves, okay? Anytime you put your hands in the tank. Or if you don't have anything, I would recommend not putting your hands in the tank if you have any cuts or scrapes at all. Sometimes we have cuts and scrapes that are so minor that we don't realize it until we put our hands in the saltwater tank. And then we feel that little sting. So just be careful because this was not a fun endeavor. My little tip to you, I just included a few photos in this video to show you. Um, There are other photos that I didn't take because it's not really necessary and I didn't want to include them. But that's it. Thanks for watching. There's my little tip. Thanks for subscribing. And uh, just be careful. Something I never thought would happen, but, you know, we all think about it, I'm sure. Hey, there's bacteria in here. I'm putting my hands in here. Fish waste and urine and uneaten food and rotting food and things die. And it's just not a good environment for your hands with cuts. So just be careful. All right.